This is a awareness campaign for um, Lou Gehrig's disease or uh, commonly known as ALS and um, it's um, there's a uh, national convention and advocacy week going on here in Washington DC and um, we brought this uh, display up from Florida um, to uh, create public awareness for the disease. Um, it's uh, uh, a horrible disease that um, doesn't get enough uh, exposure and uh, we're trying to change that. So. You yourself have been diagnosed with ALS? And yes. Eight years. Yes. And and that is a very unusual. Um, my progression is um, quite slow. Um, uh, most patients only live two to five years um, after diagnosis. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I feel like um, if I, I I'm able to. I'm going to continue to spread the word. Um, the um, one of my biggest frustrations was uh, that the general public doesn't know about the disease and how hard it is on the patients and families. Not only to w raise awareness here in you know, the Capitol. Mm. But you also are going to Capitol Hill tomorrow. Yes. Talk about what you hope to accomplish there. Well, we need to um, uh, get the, um, uh, our congressmen and uh, uh, funding basically um, to um, try and find a cause and uh, a cure for this disease. Our, our military veterans are twice as likely to uh, contract ALS as the general public. And um, our advocacy um, has um, created a, um, been able to get the government to um, designate ALS as a military-connected disease. Um, and we need to get the continued funding for the research to find out why we're you know, getting uh, ALS twice as much as anybody else. And last question, when you take a look at all of these bodies here, mm -hmm. what goes through your mind? What emotions go through your mind? Um, it's very emotional um, for people who, who see it for the first time and um, then when you walk through and you read the names and the individual stories, it really hits home that, you know, this can strike anyone at any time. It, it doesn't discriminate men, women, young and old. Um, generally, um, uh, it's, uh, from 40 years up, but um, there are cases now with teenagers contracting it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a very powerful display. It signifies with no arms and no legs that what ALS does to your body. It robs it piece by piece. You lose the use of your arms, your legs. I'm losing my ability to speak, 
but it's slowly happening. I'll eventually lose the ability to swallow and I'll have to have a feeding too. But, um, you know, this, and it's been around long enough. We need to uh, find out what's causing it and get a cure.